Needham's Art and Bloom has been a family favorite event for years, and now it's an award-winning project. It received the Exemplary Projects Award from the Golden Foundation for Excellence in Education. The award recognized a creative and innovative approach that makes a difference in the classroom, school, or community and develops academic, social, and emotional growth of young people while respecting individual needs and talents. Needham's Art and Bloom is the first group rather than individual to receive the award. Here's a look at what you can expect at this year's event. If it's February here in Needham, that means it's time to start thinking about Needham's Art and Bloom. Uh, we're so excited. This is actually, I can't believe it, our ninth year. Um, back when we started nine years ago, people weren't quite sure how it was all going to work out and where we were going to be doing this, but it's fantastic. Everybody looks forward to Art and Bloom now. Um, and as always, we're so grateful to Roach Brothers, who have been our primary sponsor since the very first year. They're fantastic. We couldn't do it without them. And um, another wonderful thing is that this year we have a new sponsor, which is TripAdvisor. We're so thrilled that they've joined us to help support this wonderful community project. As usual, um, Art and Bloom is fantastic pairing of the terrifically talented Needham High School fine arts students um, and the wonderfully talented Bestalom Garden Club, Calmia Garden Club, and Needham Garden Club. This year I think we're expecting over 80 pieces of original artwork from the students um, which will all be interpreted um, in beautiful floral designs by members of the three different garden clubs. And I think that we're expecting a, a wide variety of art coming from the high school including painting, photography, animation, graphic arts, book arts, sculpture, a huge uh, arrangement of different types of media. They are uh, throughout the library, uh, the Needham Public Library, so both upstairs and downstairs. Uh, there's docents who can help, you know, if somebody doesn't know exactly where to go and they haven't been to the Needham Library. We have lots of volunteers spread out to help and to explain and to answer any questions. It's a great um, way to brighten the day, especially in the winter. Um, a little bit of flowers um, go a long way in cheering up um, spirits in the winter, and it's just great to see the Needham artwork. The high school students are really talented, as are the, um, the Garden Club members. It's easy to get to, easy parking. We provide shuttle service um, from the satellite parking lots. It's free, it's fun. It it's a wonderful highlight to a winter day. Um, I just can't imagine having any reason to not come to it. It's just so wonderful and you'll be surprised as to, um, sometimes as you're looking at them, you'll be like, oh, I never would have thought of doing that. that that's, that's the moments that you want to hear is those, those you know, pauses of, wow, that looks amazing. It's a lot of fun. Um, this is, I think, my third or fourth year doing it, and it's, it's just a great way to uh, get involved in the community and be creative, and it's just a really fun event. Preview day is Friday, March 3rd. It's a it's kind of an appetizer. Um, we'll, there'll be just a few exhibits um, at the town hall, a couple of exhibits at the high school, and a few exhibits also at the center at the Heights. The hours for the preview day on Friday, March 3rd are 12 to 4. On Saturday and Sunday um, is the full exhibit and that will take place as usual in the Needham Public Library on Saturday from 9 to 5 and on Sunday from 1 to 5.30. Even if you don't know anyone who's doing um, some of the art or some of the floral interpretations, it's a wonderful way to spend a weekend in the beginning of March, which tends to be a little dreary here in New England, so you're bound to be impressed and delighted by what you see.